welcome to the yellow and luna channel on today's video we're going to be unboxing an order i made in the summer from pop mart's official aliexpress store this wasn't a very big order that i did i just got a few blind boxes and a lucky bag so let's go ahead and have a look at what i got so i think i'll start off with the blind boxes and i can see on the top here this is the extra i got with my order this is a pin set from molly we actually got this in another Pop Mart order that I got during the summer. So it looks like this was the thing they were giving away when I purchased them. And this is from Pop Mart X Kenny's work. And it's just a cute little pin set. And I think we'll open this up in today's video because I'm interested to see what pin I got. And I'm not sure when else I would open this. So let's open this up at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and grab one of the blind boxes that I got in this order, and I see one here on top. So this is brand new from Pop Mart. This is Zo Fruit Planet, and I'm really excited for this one. Look at the side here and see all of the amazing Zoe figures. I did buy another box of this before as well. So this is my second box that I've picked up of this series. I was debating getting a full case, but I decided against it even though I have the first series as a full case. But I'm excited to see who I get, but that's the second item for today's video. And let's pull out a another one. And here we go, we have Bunny Chinese Zodiac. And I thought I needed one more of these because I really like this series and I'm gonna be unboxing this in this month. I do have a lot of Zodiac unboxes happening in September, so I thought I needed another one to unbox. And I haven't actually opened any of these yet as of this time, so yeah, I'm excited to see if I like this series, but because it's Bunny, I thought for sure I would, so I decided to pick up another one. I think in total I'll be unboxing four of these this month. It'll be fun to see who I get and hopefully I don't get repeats because I think I've bought a lot of them at different times, just kind of one at a time. So hopefully no repeats. <laughs> and let's go in here. We have one more box for today's video and this is another brand new one that just came out recently. This is Sweet Bean and this is the Akahabra series. And this series is really cool. It's just a bunch of figures that you would find in Akhabra. And if you're not familiar, hopefully I'm saying that properly. This is a location in Tokyo in Japan. So these are basically a bunch of sweet bean figures that you could find if you were in Akihabara. Lots and lots of cool stuff. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this one. And I don't really have a plan for when I'm going to be opening this one up. So I'll have to see. Uh, when I do this, I kind of want more than one of these though. So I feel like maybe I should open one up soon. These seems to be really popular. It seems like people were really excited for this Akihabara series. So I'm excited to see who I get. And this is a look at the 12 options. And the only item I have left in the box here is going to be our summer lucky bag. So they called this a starter pack and we just have a generic lucky bag. Let's go ahead and move the box though, and let's open up this lucky bag. So for their summer starter lucky bag, you could get three blind boxes and then they had one extra that you would get no matter what. The extra was a super cute pig keychain, so you know I had to get it. I believe it's Pucky. So I was like, oh, that's such an awesome extra. I for sure have to get this. And then there was six different series you could possibly get. So it's not a completely random bag. You're basically going to get three out of six different series. So out of those, I was really hoping to get Zoe's Fruit Planet. I already bought one, so it'd be really nice to get it inside of here. The Little Voyagers one looks fun too. I don't even have that series, so I'm pretty excited to see if I got that one. I'm not too excited about the Kogi family one or Birdie Molly. And the Satire Rory Summer Fun one would be great as well. And the Deco Tropical Island, I'm kind of on the fence of. It's whatever to me. But I thought that was pretty decent odds. There's three blind boxes that I would be really excited to get. And a few that I'm just kind of whatever on. I think the only one I really wouldn't want to get is the Birdie Molly. Because I've already unboxed a few of those. And I'm not a huge Molly fan. But let's have a look and see who I got. 
And the reason why I bought this, besides that cute little pig keychain, is it's actually a lot cheaper per figure than if you were to buy them. So I will see who we got and I'll let you know what the price difference would be. So let's grab the first one. Oh no, I got Molly Birdie. So this is the one I wasn't very excited to get, but I guess I was probably gonna get one of the ones I didn't want. All right, so the first one we got was Molly Birdie. Hopefully I have better luck in the other two. I'm really hoping for the Zoe Fruit Planet. We'll see who I get. Oh, awesome. So I got Zoe Fruit Planet. This is incredible. So I'm really excited I got a second box of this. This was the main reason I bought this because I was like, wow, if I get a Zoe Fruit Planet, I would be so, so excited. So that's fantastic. I can't believe usually Lucky Bags don't have new series like this. This is this basically had come out the week I bought this Lucky Bag. So that is so cool that they actually included one inside of here and not just older series. And let's go ahead and grab the last one. Oh, this one's really big. Oh, yeah, I thought this was Little Voyagers as soon as I felt it because they tend to be quite big. And this series is called Heat Wave. And this is the Little Voyagers Heat Wave series. It's really silly looking, not normally something I would buy, but every time I see a Little Voyagers series, I'm always tempted to buy it because they're really, really cute. I actually gave one of the Little Voyagers blind boxes I got to my cousin last year, and I kind of wish I had unboxed it, but... <laughs> And this is a really big box. I'm hoping I get the cactus one or the cat one. I don't know. They're so weird. <laughs> and the only thing left we should have in here is going to be that pig keychain. So hopefully we have that. Yeah. <laughs> so here is the Pucky pig keychain. So I'll open this up and show you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this Pucky Pig keychain that I got inside of the Summer Lucky Bag. I'm not 100% sure how this opens. Oh, there's a little thing at the top. All right, perfect. So let's just, oh. <laughs> and we have a butter who wants to say hi for today's video. Everyone come say hi to butter. Hi, butter. Hi, sweetie. I wish I could show you Butter's face right now, but she's looking out my front window of my house, so. So I think we'll have to continue the video with Butter here because she doesn't seem to want to leave. She's having a lot of fun just hanging out here. So I think I'll let her hang out and we can go ahead and unbox our Pucky Pig keychain so I can show you guys what it looks like. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and here it is. Hi, Butter. So we have the pig keychain from Pucky. It is so, so cute. I love the color of it. This is a really nice pink color. And I love how it is double layered. And I think it's just really nice. This is a really great extra to get in the Lucky Bag. I do have a lot of keychains though. I have a huge collection of keychains. So did I need it? Probably not, but I definitely wanted it. And you can see here we have a little piggy kind of out through the window as well. So that's cute, the little charm there. And I'm really excited about the three boxes we got. This one I'm not very excited about. This is the one that I didn't want to get. But you can't always be lucky with Lucky Bag, so it was bound to happen. But the great thing about this is this Lucky Bag was $30 Canadian, so that means each of these blind boxes was $10, and this keychain was essentially free at that point. So 
I actually purchased my other Zoe Fruit Planet blind box. I think this was almost $17 Canadian. The Popmart AliExpress store is getting really expensive. For new releases, they tend to be quite expensive now. They're usually anywhere from $16 to $18 Canadian, so it's really great that I managed to get this one for only $10, which was the main reason why I wanted to buy the Lucky Bag, because I was like, wow, I spent $17 on this. If I end up getting this one for only $10, that would be amazing. I'm also really excited. The Coarse Little Voyager blind boxes, I actually really like quite a few of them, but I've never purchased them because they're usually over $20. I don't know if it's because it's a coarse collaboration or just because these are bigger figures. Even if you were to buy them somewhere else, they're always going to be a few dollars more than the rest of Pop Mart's figures. So I'm really excited we got that one for $10 and I can try it and see if I like it. I really wish we'd gotten a Satire Rory one instead of the Molly one. That would have been so good. I've only opened up one Summer Fun box before and I really liked it. I think the Koki family one also would have been really cute to get. It was one that I definitely wouldn't have bought myself, but I think it would have been cute to open. So let's go ahead and open this up and see who I got for Molly auction. <laughs> All right, let's slide it out. Oh, cute. Oh, I got the Frida Kahlo one. It actually says Molly Kai Kai Green. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's the name of the painting, but doesn't that look like Frida Kahlo? Maybe it's supposed to be someone else. I'm not 100% sure on that. So here's a look at the pin, and I absolutely love the cat. So pretty. <laughs> this is such a cute pin. I really, really like this. I'm glad we opened this up. It is just super cute. And here were the other options that you could have gotten. I kind of think I got the best one. This one's really cute with the black hat as well. <laughs> and I like this one up here, the number five yellow. This one's cute too, just because they have a cat on it. I think all of these actually have a cat with it. Yeah, except for these two. I don't think these ones have a cat. I really like these pins. What do you guys think? Do you like the Molly Auction pins from Pop Mart? This is a really fun extra to get. One of my favorite extras you can get from the AliExpress store has to be their pin sets. So here's a look at everything that I got from Pop Mart. So I purchased the Sweeping Nakahabra. Bunny Chinese Zodiac, and a Zoe Fruit Planet. And then I got their Summer Starter Lucky Bag, which I believe is still available. If it is, I'll put a link in my description. And we got the Little Voyager's Heat Wave, another Zoe Fruit Planet, and then a Molly Birdie. And then we got this cute Pucky Pig keychain. And as the extra, we got a Molly Auction pin, and I got Molly Kai Kai Green. And thank you so much for watching today's Pop Mart haul. Tomorrow's unboxing video will be another Zodiac one, so be sure to check it out. And I hope you guys have a great day. And let me know down below if you think I should open a Zoe Fruit Planet blind box in September's live stream.